Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. We're down here in Goalie Utopia. It is that time of year, Cam. We get to play with new stuff. You've seen the G6 customizer online. Probably heard all about their new plastic slide plate option on the inner edge of the pad. There are a lot of other features. There's a 580 glove brake cam. Ish. Ish. See, that's why we come to you, because I know you're a big warrior guy. So we want to get the answers on the new G6 line. We come to Cam here at the Hockey Shop or thehockeyshop.com. Cam, walk me through the biggest changes. Let's start, obviously, I think this one jumps hey, everybody, out. Everybody wants to start with the knee. Everyone, the most questions. Warriors need slide plate. So, yes, it is a piece of plastic. Yes, it is removable. No, it doesn't break off of shots. They have tested that. Um, why is this a big deal and why does this feel? So you've seen people chasing that, you know, what pad slides the best. Um, overall technology, whether it be 3M clear tape people have been trying to put on, Bowers technology in terms of their, the way their pad slides, you know, speed skin, primo material from Brian's. Everyone's got their own kind of a tagline. So Warrior hasn't gone away from their um, air, air slide, slide yeah. which still exists on the uh, lower calf. However, this knee. So this is something that I've actually got to try, and this will fit on some of Warrior's older generation pads too as well. So a G5, for example. Hold on, is that available? Is it, is it going to be this available is a replaceable, as an accessory? This is a replaceable part that is going to be available. So they, um, you can retrofit an old pad with this? Technically speaking, yes. As long as it fits. There are some that it doesn't. Um, call me and double check, obviously. Um, again, something that is held on by Velcro. So as we can see here, this whole piece comes right off. Like I said, this is a hard piece of plastic. It's not, it's not going to break on you. But it depends on for friction and sliding. So you can imagine that. You put a piece of plastic on ice at any time. She's going to be a little slick. Exactly, exactly. Um, I've seen it myself. I've seen uh, a young uh, child who's never skated before as a goalie be able to start running circles and push across the entire blue line back and forth with very, very little trouble. That's something we don't really see too often around down here. So in terms of a bit of a game changer, I would highly, highly say so. Um, some control required. It is, for lack of a better term, quite slippery. <laughs> so you do got to hold your edges a little bit better um, and be able to stop in that mid overdrive, be able to cut back and push. It's going to take some getting used to is what you're saying. That's correct. Exactly. And it might not be for everyone, which is why it's removable. My understanding as of right now is it won't be for anyone in the National Hockey League. I don't believe they're going to approve the use of this slide plate in the NHL, but minds get changed. Things, uh, things could turn between now and then. For now, though, um, there's no limits on playing with it anywhere else. So okay. kind of a cool feature, but that's not all that's new. No, there's, there's quite a bit more. This pad has taken a bit of a departure um, from like there's similarities, but there is actually quite a few differences from that in the G5. Uh, let's talk about stiffness profile right off the bat. Now this, I mean, we're both <laughs> putting some weight on this. This is a, a bit of a departure from Warrior in terms of their core and structure. Very, very stiff. Now, in terms of for longevity aspect wise, and also overall durability of the pad itself, this is quite an advancement. Pete has really taken the core of this pad and stiffened it back up. Hyper comp returns, which is adding a lot of this rigidity to the pad. It's going to help to aid in that rebound, and it's also going to help to aid in that longevity of the pad. This guy isn't going to break down like previous Warrior pads, especially in the upper thigh portion. Five different options in terms of your core flex at custom. Something we can definitely go over. Give me a call, 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790. Oh, hold on. So what you're saying is stock, super stiff, but you've got the ability to customize something with a little more flex, a little more Believe it or not, there's even a stiffer option than this. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I, hey, some of the, especially their Euro guys, that's where that request came from. So, you know, quite interesting. Coverage edge still um, makes its return too as well. If you look down straight at the pad, the pad's kind of angled. Um, when you're down to the butterfly, that does help to get pucks back forward, back out in front of you, as well as their whole concept, once again, is having that little bit of extra puff out helps to prevent that skipping up. Um, 
Again, something a little bit different than we see from Warrior versus some of the other companies. Um, still a softer boot, and you need to have that softer boot, especially with how stiff of a pad it is. Moving on to the back and the leg channel, whereas again, we've seen some updates and some changes. Warriors puffed out the shin versus the G5 model and previous models. This gives more connectivity to the pad. This is also going to help aid in rebounds as we're losing that dead air in between your shin and the actual pad. So the more tight and connected that is, the better rebound quality of the pad is you don't have that pad push in and then want to rebound back out. So this is, this is a pretty open leg channel. Correct. And yet the idea is to maintain a little more connection between the front of the shin, down around the ankle, and the back of the pad. Exactly. exactly. Even with a leg channel that's pretty loose and open and it's going to rotate. It's open, however, you can get it quite tight because Warriors also added an additional slot, something that you saw come out in their G5, to be able to really tighten up that leg channel as well. So you get some really customizable options just even on the stock pad. They've also added their own version of a rotation strap. Velcro, it goes on easy, can also be removed easy by just a simple plastic clip as well. One last really notable feature for the pad, the addition of an actual laced in toe bridge. Some that you've saw a little bit on G5 Custom, especially with the Euro guys. Now it's available stock off the wall. You want to throw on the laces, get rid of the bungee toe tie at the front. Totally up to you. You have that option. Yeah, and I think probably a good option, not, you know, not to take away from some of the innovation behind because they were one of the first to add that. But we've seen, we've talked about it at Ingle, uh, going into an RVH with skate laces on. You need a little bit of that gap to get the bottom of the pad sealed and the skate inside. So sometimes with the elastic, that can be a little tougher to do and, and get that sealed every time. And also, as you push off the post, the elastic gives and costs you some of your push. All right, so that's the pad. That's the new G6 pad. Uh, stock, I noticed that, uh, and I said something Warriors done in the past, stock is pl instead of plus one or plus two, it's plus one and a half. Yes, so Find that sizing nice, remains consistent. Nice, nice little gap. Now tell me about the blocker and the glove. Okay. <laughs> tip so for, tap, tip for tap. So, two separate blockers, two separate catchers. So, we call them gloves. Catchers. Gloves. Catchers. What do they do? Catch pucks. Unlike Not you. Not when you're wearing them. I, I use the same joke. You can't use the same joke twice. Okay. 6.0. So, blocker-wise, we're having the similar G5 shape and profile. They're still using the cover edge plus, which is that thicker blocker board. Again, helping to effectively cut off that angle because of that thicker blocker board forward. Um, straighter, flatter blocker board. Again, not too much of a departure from the G5. If you're familiar with that and like the blocker, you're going to be comfortable with the 6.0. Overall, the finger protection has been redone a little bit. Our Warriors actually flattened it out a little bit more, less segmented, but however, it still covers the hand very, very well. They've also added a large index finger pad. Keep that finger protected. Puck's riding up the stick. Still removable palms as well for the 6.0. 6.1. I was okay. going to talk about the glove first. Oh, so they come in sets? Yeah, sorry, catcher. <laughs> get, get over here. Okay. So, two different gloves as well. So, continuing with the 6.0 series, based off of, again, that G5 catcher. Basically, what we're looking for here is a more wide open style catch. So, again, someone familiar with that G6 model is still going to feel comfortable on this one fundamentally not too too much has changed they've actually cut off some of the surface area of the palm and put it back into the pocket of the glove so a bit of a deeper catch surface you still have the removable palms stock is 75 you still have your 60 and your 90 degree palm which again is just changing your hand position on the break angle because this break angle doesn't change it's just where your hand is positioned on you can take them out wash them that's a great feature as well custom you can actually order with a thicker palm too as well so that's something new that we haven't seen from warrior so the chance to get some practice palms in there as well Switching it over. 6.1. Okay. You can have the blocker first. Okay. So in comparison, much more of a banana shape to the blocker itself. More reminiscent of the GT2 series of their blocker. Overall feel-wise, stock. Not a removable palm. That's important. You can do that um, when you order custom if you do want it to be a removable palm. But stock off the wall will be laced in. Uh, overall feel wise a little bit more center balanced um, again guys that are looking for not necessarily that flat forward just kind of sitting there style of a blocker 
A little bit more, again, banana shape, a little bit more technical control, especially when you're blocking and, and moving to it. Um, so a little bit more required that way. Similar index finger protection and overall armadillo protection for the fingers. So not changing that way. Again, someone looking for a bit of a steeper blocker board angle, as well as something that you do have to control a little bit more, less of a blocky blocker and more of a... I'm, I'm lacking a good term for this one. Blocky blocker, I like that one. We'll, go, we'll keep up with blocky blocker. Blocky blocker. This is the blockiest blocker that ever blocked. Okay, so there you go, tongue twister for today. Okay, so, something really cool though. Now we're going to talk about the 6.1 glove. So, it's not, a, it's, it's not a 580. However, in terms of how it closes on the hand and how it presents in a stance, very reminiscent of. So, this catching surface is now designed to be longer as opposed to wider versus the 6.0 glove. So as you look at it, we get more of that straight up and down uh, presentation, which is, again, eerily reminiscent of that uh, CCM 580. In terms of a closure on the hand and feel-wise, um, I would say it's not too, too far off. It's not that exact same. We don't exactly get that full-on duck bill over, but it's, it's very close. So someone that is using a 580 is comfortable with it, in theory, should be comfortable with this style of a glove. Um, stock off the wall this palm will be sewn in however you do get the opportunity if when you order custom you can't get removable palms you can also again change that hand position on that break angle itself with their 60 75 and 90 degree palm additional options um again a nice additional extra feature from warrior keeping up with their you know two options for gloves anything else that's a pretty extensive overview cam that was oh, i got it all out but you can talk about it some more with me here at the Hockey Shop, 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790 or check us out at thehockeyshop.com. Not much to add other than clearly this man knows his stuff when it comes to the Warrior line. So if you've got any questions about the new G6 and whether it fits your game or you want a custom option, make sure you give him a shout. Thanks, Cam. Blockiest blocker that ever blocked.